Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So I'm really sorry I didn't manage to get the far up last week. Virgin Media were really loud on my street. So I only actually managed to get two up. Um, But this is a client that I did the other day and I thought the set was super cute. So I thought I'd put this one up today for you. Um, I'm just starting out on this middle finger and doing a stripe down the middle with a new glitter called Pearl Ophelia, which is named after Annabelle's beautiful daughter, who she had around six months ago. Um, and the glitter is stunning. It's what I'm going to be using on my nails when I fix them. As you can see, they are looking shocking. <laughs> so I'm hopefully going to get them done in the next couple of days. <clears throat> and I may record. Um, so as you can see, I'm just applying this glitter down the middle creating somewhat of a semi straight line with my brush not too thick just, just enough and then I'm going to come in with some clear and cap the whole line and try and create a straighter line as possible also try and create some sort of apex as well just keep it nice and thick this bit don't be worried about it being too thick because when it comes to filing it's much better for it to be thick than it is too thin and try and keep the wall like the same height all the way down so you don't end up cutting into any glitter and then on this one I'm just gonna do a French so me and my client we sat down and I said oh I've got I've got like six new premix glitters do you want to have a look and she was like yeah so <laughs> we looked through them and she loved every single one of them but we decided on this one because it is truly truly beautiful i can see why annabelle named it after her daughter so i'm using pinkabelle cover here which is definitely my go-to cover nude pink um yeah I just love it I love the way it works I love the color it goes with a, a lot of people's skin tones so it's just really nice uh cover powder and then this nail I think is just full glitter because we decided that the design was going to just be all about the glitter so I tried to use it as much as possible in this set if you can hear some snoring in the background, that would be my little doggy. He is three quarter pug, so he snores a lot. Um, and he's home at the minute. He usually goes to work with my partner, but due to the sheer heat at the minute that we're having in the UK, he's staying home with me because it's too hot. Oh, look how beautiful that glitter is. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. So it's quite early. I've I've not been up long, so I'm a bit croaky. <laughs> so I'm just capping this. Um also I apologize. I didn't actually get a picture myself of these nails and I didn't take a little video at the end when they were finished because I was running super late for an appointment that I had. So literally the second I finished, <laughs> she was out of the door, I was out of the door and I was gone. But luckily she did send me a picture which to be fair was a pretty decent picture for a client. So I will pop that at the end so you can see the end result. So I've just capped that whole finger and this finger again I think is just all glitter just because it's just too beautiful not to be on all the fingers let's be honest. So how is everybody doing? I know that I have a lot of subscribers from all over the world. Um, how is Covid where you are? <clears throat> sorry um here we have just had what is called i suppose freedom day people are calling it but don't really feel like freedom day if i'm honest that was yesterday so this is again pink bell cover um yeah it just all feels a bit weird like i'm personally double vaccinated i do believe in the vaccine 
Uh, my mum sadly nearly died of COVID and my auntie is a COVID nurse and she's, yeah, she's had it rough, bless her. So I do personally believe in in the vaccine, but I don't know, it's just really weird, like, our country is saying that people aren't going to be allowed to go to nightclubs, aren't allowed to go to theatres and things if they are double vaccinated and... I don't really know how I feel about that. It's just all very strange. It's um, it's not a nice feeling. The control, I think, it is. Sorry, this is getting really deep. But I've just been watching the news and it's it's been on the news and it's just got me thinking and I was just wondering where everybody else is in their countries because I know that everybody is so different at the minute with where they are. I think America are bringing back masks uh, whereas we've just got rid of them even though our cases are soaring the schools are a mess at the minute um, my youngest is off because his bubble burst in our country we have classes in bubbles so like year one year two and uh, he's in nursery and his nursery bubble burst um, my eldest is in high school and every day there's 10 15 more cases it's just, yeah, the cases are soaring, but people aren't dying because we've had the vaccine, so I guess I can see why they're opening everything back up. But, yeah, I'm really sorry. This is a really depressing video. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. Um, but, yeah, just let me know how you're get, all getting on because, I, I, you know, I, I, I do like to know what other countries are doing and how you're all coping because it's not easy, is it? Anywho, um, as you can see, I am currently just filing this nail bed area to make it nice and crisp and then coming in with that glitter again and just doing that oh, and also filing this area just keep your file super straight and push it really hard against the line not down onto the nail just against the line just try to get as a uh, straight a line as possible and then brush all that dusty dust away. And then I'll be coming in with my, I'm assuming, pink bell cover because I'm holding the middle nail. Yep. So I'm just doing pink bell cover down either side. <coughs> Sorry, I'm really croaky today. And just try and keep this... Um, just try it look it'll look a bit of a mess but it's fine once it's filed <laughs> just try to keep it nice and neat as neat as you can obviously i am using my glitter bells rose gold number 12 brush as always and i use the glitter bells matte square tips for these <clears throat> i used the glitter bells dehydrator and primer uh, glass slippers uh, the hema free or hema free I, don't, I never know how to pronounce that monomer um not for any particular reason i just choose that one at the minute i did used to use the the violet one but then they were out of stock so i stocked up on the hema free hema free and i really like it so i just carried on using it and i guess if my clients are uh, um wearing the nails the same as they usually would and you're taking away a chemical that can cause um a reaction then it's probably a good thing to use the hema free one that's just my opinion use what you want <laughs> Um, and yes, as you can see, I'm trying to get uh, up into the right up into those sides. Make that a nice deep smile line. And then come in with my glass slippers and cap in the free edge and all the glitter area. It was quite warm, so <clears throat> my glass slippers was setting quite fast. So I was having to try work with it a bit wetter, but it's any nail tech will know hot weather is not great for acrylic. <laughs> but we did okay. So 
So just making sure that the side walls are capped and all the glitter is encapsulated. If you're ever using glitter, please always lay down a clear base beforehand and then cap, obviously, after you've put the glitter down, sandwich the glitter between the clear because there is no strength in glitter. So you've got absolutely no strength. If I mean, you're just more likely for your nail to break if you just put the glitter straight on top of, um, say, a tip and the nail bed area if you haven't put the clear base down. I just find you get much more strength if you sandwich that glitter between a clear base and then the top. Because your clear is your strongest powder as it has got no pigment or anything in it. And then I filed everything off camera and I was actually going to film that but forgot because I was in a rush. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and so I just filed everything off camera and now I'm coming in with my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat and look how pretty that glitter is. Oh, camera moved. Yeah, and the nail desk I've got at the minute is really rubbish. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit cheap and nasty. And um, and it wobbles a lot. So that's why my camera is wobbling at the minute. I do need another one. I'm going to invest in um, one of the beautiful Glitter Bells ones. Um, but I'm just getting around to it. Cause they're, they're not cheap. De nail desks, as a rule, aren't cheap. And the ones that Glitter Bells do are bespoke. So you can have a mini colour. Um, you can change things, add drawers, da da da. So you know, I'm just saving up currently for one of those, which should be a little more sturdy than the crap one I've got at the minute. Oh, I love this glitter, and I really, I really liked this thumb, the glitter fade. I think I'm, that's probably something I'm gonna do on my own, just some sort of glit simple glitter fade effect. Annabelle used it with pink opal and it looked amazing. So this is the finished result and I will see you soon. Bye!